So before we jump into the more boring part, the technical stuff, um, I thought it's uh, pretty important to not overlook this uh, very important point called a reference. So I'm not just going on YouTube, typing something. Oh yeah, I saw it. Let's get started. But um, I think it's, it's pretty important to get yourself in the mood for what you're going to be creating. And that's not just uh, for the simulation part, but also for the rendering part. So what is the mood of the scene? How is it going to look? Um, what's the feel for everything? And I mean, this is a recommendation. Um, everyone does this different. Um, I would always go and have a look at the reference almost every day when you're working on it, just to constantly remind yourself how things are going to look and what direction you want to go in. Obviously, at some point, you're going to have um, notes from your director, or maybe you'll get a uh, reference from them. Um, if they provide you with, with stuff like that, then also have a look at that as well. Um, and maybe if you're if you're unsure which direction, uh, just ask for, for a reference. Obviously, if you're doing this on, on your own, just go out, look at stuff that you that you like, that you that you think is cool. Also, when walking around outside, <laughs> it's, it's, it sounds sounds a bit nerdy, but um, have a look at, at at nature, how stuff is behaving. Um, if you're running through through the woods, through the forest, whatever, and you see some nice fog mist, uh, or if you're in the city and there's like um, some nice clouds uh, that you can see, or some construction work happening where there's stuff breaking apart, whatever, it doesn't matter. Grab your phone, film it, or at least stop for one, two seconds and, and have a look at it, how, how it's behaving. Just get yourself used to how things behave in, in the real world. So for this part, I just uh, grabbed some submarines breaching. Um, obviously, we're not going to have a submarine breaching it's going to be um and it's not going to shoot up like that it's going to be more like this kind of effect where basically it's coming out of the water and then slowly settling um, our ship is going to rise a bit higher as we saw in the previous part as for example this submarine does and so just have a look at how the water is behaving how the white water is behaving um so here, for example, what you can see is there's basically everything that is moving a bit faster than, than the regular water is white. Um, and especially everything that is, that is above the surface. If you just keep watching this, for example, here, the, the, the thing that I find interesting here, what, you, what we can see is when, this, when, when the ship starts emerge, you don't have that much white water. It's more the uh, crashing. Um, that's also due to the form of the submarine, which is um, basically round and letting water flow around it. Um, for example, our, our spaceship has a lot of flat surfaces, which would um, push a lot more water above the surface. Um, this is also an interesting one where it's basically breaking um, out of ice. And that's also a nice part about watching or looking at reference. It's just you can, I mean, you have to watch out to not get carried away, but like there's so much cool stuff, especially if you go in the direction of slow motion, um, smaller scale things. There's so much amazing um, fluid if, uh, videos, for ex if, if it's uh, pyro or um, also water stuff or even things breaking apart. It's, it's just amazing. And this is also uh, an interesting one because there's a lot of, um, for some shots, you have a lot of uh, detail that you can see when the whales are jumping up and how the white water behaves. Uh, how the splashing is behaving when when the whales breach. It's pretty interesting the, that the the people are so close. I uh, would be a bit scared. Yeah, so this is kind of more like the environment that, that we are going to be in. So a lake, not too 
bright and this is this is amazing this shot like it's i think they're gonna slice oh yeah look at that detail that's just amazing wow so much fun ah uh, jeez poor guy probably got crushed by by the waves that's why probably the camera went off um and then to get yourself in the mood for uh for the rendering part this is kind of what we're aiming for i mean we're not going to copy it but um just what kind of um environment we're going to be setting this all in so it's going to be more cloudy foggy um we'll have to see where we where we get to but it's not definitely not going to be a bright sunshine day where um it's also going to be interesting lighting wise because uh, if you render this it's going to be much easier if you just plug in a bright hdri where the sun is shining and you're going to get that nice highlight reflections and that's going to be interesting to get this looking realistic and nice with a kind of flat lighting if we say we'll see where we will where we are going to be heading once we get to to the lighting part and these pictures i um i'm not going to provide them because i just grabbed them from the internet and i guess i mean the easiest is just take your favorite search engine and start typing in the kind of uh arrangements that you're searching for or the moods um i mean for effects stuff it's a bit different there you'd have to kind of abstract it a bit because i don't think there's that many spaceships uh coming under <laughs> from underneath that you can look at so it's going to be more like submarines whales um stuff like that and for the for the mood for the environment um here i just uh basically looked for lake foggy um forest that kind of type and this is basically what what, what showed up i mean obviously there were a bunch of more pictures um good thing that i or what i use often is uh, pinterest for example because they they always show like if you got one picture they always show a bunch of um very nice similar pictures i mean google has that as well um just a preference i guess and also i'm not providing these pictures just to come back to that point um because i don't know how that is legal wise so i'm just showing the slides here and if you if you think you you you, you want one of these exact pictures or want to know where it came from uh, just let me know and, and I can surely look that up and send it your way. But for now, I think this should be good. Maybe just circle back to this reference um, video clip here that I'm that we're making and just go through it again. Just have a quick look at at the at the images. All right, I think this wraps this up for the reference part. Um, and then let's. Uh, have a look at the next section, which is going to be the working environment.